Bread at Upstream. They have shrimp and grits. Bacon and sausage. Hash browns and zucchini casserole. Sushi. They have a whole seafood spread. Some muffins and biscuits. Some salmon, fruit, cheese, sliced meat, salad. They have ribs, fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, and a ton of desserts cheesecake and brownies and berry crumble and then over here they have like a carving station Hi. and they see a grits and salmon and some watermelon and now she is full and we are going to head to discovery place So we are at Discovery Place right now, which is like a children's museum. Um, we have a 14-year-old, a 9-year-old, and a 9-month-old, and we are going to try to get in enough activities for everybody to be happy. I think it's going to work out. Right now we're in the sort of the little kids area. And here is Macy. She's exploring all these different tubes that have little, whoa, have different things in them. One has rubber balls, one has foam things, and one have, has bells in it. And she's hanging out. And Al is over there hanging with the 14 year old. And the nine-year-old is playing over at the water table over there, so we are enjoying it. Hello. <laughs> She's checking herself out in the mirror. Sweater and her top are from Baby Gap, and her little leggings are from H&M, and her little pink boots are from Target. They're the brand Mini Star, and I have like I ended up giving her like three pairs of these because they're so soft and comfortable and warm. So she wears these just about every day. This area is really good because it's just for babies from birth to 36 months so that they don't get run over by the big kids. And they have like little soft mats, push toys, and then this little house over here has different textures. There's a little part that has wood, bricks, um, carpet, grass, got mirrors. And they have some big blocks and soft toys there and a little obstacle course if you want to come to discovery place definitely come on a sunday because it's just it's nearly empty and they're having a ball because they get to play with all the stuff without having to get run over by the crowd.
Don't try to be a hero, Al. It's okay. We can take the elevator if you need to. <laughs> You're almost there. <laughs> oh, you did it. Good job. <laughs> benefits of living in a city with your family. You get to do stuff like this all together. So they're pressing on this lever and it pulls the chains and it makes the dinosaur move. Press it again, Al. <laughs> Kaden is trying his hardest. Go, Kaden, go! <laughs> <laughs> One of the dinosaurs is controlled by a different lever. Huh? Do it again. So she's making the dinosaur chomp with the steering wheel. One steering wheel makes it go side to side, one makes yeah. it go up and down. No, actually I'm just kind of pulling it back and forth. And this one is controlled by these levers. You want to do this one? Use those little arms. <laughs> this exhibit is really cool. If you have children, well, really, I'm enjoying it too. And so are the other adults. So if you're interested in science museums, this exhibit is really neat. This one is controlled by a game controller. Madison, let's see your work of art. Picasso in the making. You go, girl. Let's see. Hold on.
luckily they have dryers over there. Yeah, we're gonna have to put our whole body in there. <laughs> such a good time celebrating today everybody is exhausted like we stayed at discovery place for so long so if you want to wear your kids out take them to the discovery place and let them go crazy for five hours anyway macy is already asleep she fell asleep downstairs like while al was watching tv which is normally not what she does so I know she was tired. I think she napped for maybe like 30 minutes in the stroller while we were at Discovery Place. So yeah, here's hoping she sleeps through the night so that I can get some good sleep. Anyway, I'm just um, putting like clothes away and folding finally. I've been saying I was going to fold clothes for like three days now. Um, so I'm finally doing that since she's asleep. And I think I'm going to... I don't know, you know, like when your child finally goes to sleep, you have so many things you want to do, but then you can't figure out which one is the best use of your time. So right now it's folding. Maybe later I'll watch some TV or YouTube or something and maybe have some tea and then call it a night. All right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.